I've just landed in uh, Friedrichshafen. I have probably just had one of the best flights of my entire life, well, flying gyros. Um, I took off out of Colmore, and there was quite a lot of low mist and fog, and I thought, ooh, climbed above it, and then it was super clear, and it was actually just local. And the air was super still. Climbed up to four and a half thousand feet, and sort of made my way through some of the higher ground. And it was beautiful, it was like the gyro was flying on rails, silky smooth, um, just an incredible flight. And the sun is shining and it's just beautiful. I'm now here for nearly a week because the aircraft behind me is on display at the aero show. So please do come and say hi, I'll be here for the whole show, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, but I'm now waiting for a car or follow me car, I don't think, um, the uh, tower just told me I don't think he's going to stay here, so he said get out and wait. So I said okay, so I'm now just waiting. So there we go, we made it into Friedrichshafen guys. Awesome. The aircraft is now packed away. Here comes my ride, and we're gonna head to the terminal, get checked into the hotel. What a wicked day so far. to 
be the biggest airport I've ever flown into. It was pretty easy to be honest. In fact, it was very easy, very quiet. Yeah, the last time I was sat in a terminal like this eating food, I was probably on a commercial flight. It feels a bit crazy that I've just flown in here. It's awesome. <sighs> right, I'm hungry. Let's have some food. Okay guys, so I'm back in the hotel room. <clears throat> I've just been for a little run. But it's nice to put my trainers on and get out and actually exercise. Although it is quite tiring flying. Someone asked me about that actually the other day. And because you're actually flying it, there's no autopilot and you're very exposed. It, it is quite tiring. I find it quite tiring. Um, and you're concentrating a lot as well. When I got here today, I literally just... I think I had quite a lot of, of adrenaline running through me. I was quite pleased that I made it here. It was a great flight. And I came into the room and I sat down and I literally just crashed out on the bed and, and woke up an hour later. Uh, so, I just got back from a little run. I'm going to go and have something to eat now. It's a cracking view. I'm going to show you. It's be like a plain spotter's dream. So what I intend to do, um, I'm, just, I'm still finding a rhythm at the moment in terms of vlogging and I've had, I, I cannot thank everyone enough for all the really kind comments. There is going to be a little bit more structure to the vlogging, there's, I think there's two sides to this um, sort of project really, you've got the kind of cool aviation side which people, I've had some messages, people want to hear about the technicalities, where I'm flying from and to and, and the information that I, as a pilot, you, you know, if you were a pilot, you might be interested in some of the information, but perhaps not so much if you were just sort of following along the journey. I don't know. So we've got kind of the technical aspect of, of what's going on, you know, how I pack and how I navigate and how I do all the stuff is actually quite easy. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to do, a, I've got loads of cool sort of how I do this vlogs coming up. Um, and then you've got the kind of fun side of it, really, what I'm getting up to when I'm not flying, who I'm meeting, what I'm doing, what I'm seeing, what I'm eating, everything, just everything. So it's quite exciting, it's pretty cool. I'm just finding a rhythm at the moment, but now I'm here for a while. Um, I'm going to try and put a video out every day. Uh, and yeah, just send me any questions or, or emails, whack them in the comments below. And um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right, guys, I'm, gonna, I'm hungry. I'm going to go and get something to eat. That is the end of today's vlog. Whew.